Hey, people keep asking me about the Aisha Curry thing, and here's the thing. It just was innocent, to be honest with you. She just kind of naive to the fact of male attention. Like, she doesn't even realize what she was asking for, doesn't even realize what she was saying, and she kind of articulated what so many women, 80 to 90% of women would feel if no man looking their way, no man shooting their shot, but she just doesn't understand why men aren't. And the thing is, is because of what she represents and who she is, and then also because of her husband and how men view her husband. It has nothing to do with her looks, nothing to do with, you know, she's unattractive or any of that. It's really, when you represent a mar when you look like a marathon, but a man is looking just to run a sprint, he's not gonna shoot his shot. When you look taken care of, when you look kept, and your man has, is a good man, a man isn't gonna try you. But truthfully, like a lot of women base their beauty or their worth off of male attention. Like if no man is checking for you, every woman will say, why doesn't anybody want me? Why doesn't anybody want me? That's a total different question if you're a single woman though. Aisha asking that as a married woman, just because she sees women want her man and she wondering why don't men want her? Like we both human, we both attractive, we both successful. So why are women coming at you and men not coming at me? And the thing about it is what you have to realize the women going at stealth trying to be rescued. They don't have any self-worth. They don't have any self-respect. See, the man is not gonna approach you because he's not trying to be rescued. And a man trying to be rescued knows that he would not be attractive to you. So the dynamics are different. That's all it is. Another point is that men know men. Like, if a man respects a man, we respect Cur Curry's lifestyle. We respect Steph's, you know, his money. For most men, his self-worth is his net worth. His net worth determines his self-worth. So when you see a rich man, financially rich, men assume this man has it all. He has everything. So if you have everything and you giving everything you have to your woman, like that means your woman has everything. So that means your woman has no deficiency, no void. And we know you have a sex drive, so we know you sleeping with her and you therefore, you know, that you with her, you attracted to her, you keep having kids with her. So men don't see any voids. Men don't see any openings to slip in there. Now, if the man, if a man knows that Steph out here cheating, he's sleeping with a bunch of women that keep hitting the headlines that he cheating, now a man sees a reason to slip in. But for now, men don't see a reason. And lastly, this is what I say, because I, I understand this as a life coach dealing with so many female clients and then also coaching men on the other side, is women, stop basing your worth off of what a man thinks about you. You got to know that you bring it in. You got to know you taking care of your body. You got to know that you living right, eating right. You working out. You loving yourself. You taking care of you. And if, you, and if you're doing all that, then you know you're putting your best foot forward and you know you look good. You have to know that. Stop basing your worth or your attractiveness off of what a man thinks and what a man does because a lot of times it has nothing to do with you and everything to do with that man. So if you're a woman and you're not being approached, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. What it means is that you look like a marathon and he's just looking to run a sprint. It means that you look like a whole lot of work. You look like a classy woman and he's not ready or willing to put in that work.